There aren't many things more attractive than someone who prioritizes themselves. Someone who knows their worth and values it. Confident enough to make decisions that are beneficial for themselves. Loves themselves first and takes actions that are good for them. That's a very erotic trait. It's that lucky girl syndrome. It's the how to be that girl idea. Even those Sigma male memes, which are absolutely hilarious in my opinion. At the core of all of these terms is really just a description of someone who prioritizes themselves and does what's best for them and just trusts that whomever is meant to stay will stay and whoever just doesn't get it will fall away. However, you'll find, as I have and many others have, is that once you carry yourself with this air of confidence and self-prioritization, it will be very difficult to make others leave because it is so damn attractive and inspiring to be in the presence of someone who loves themselves, prioritizes themselves, and chooses themselves first. And I believe many of us, deep down inside, we want to be this way too. When you are yourself, unapologetically, and you keep yourself and you keep your attention on yourself, you keep yourself at number one, that is a very, very powerful position to put yourself in. I want to go beyond how to manifest specific things and how to manifest specific people because there is just so much more that you can have and so many more options that could be available to you if you just simply started from the inside and just became the person who already has what it is that you want now think of the peace of mind that you could achieve in the process by not focusing on individual things and people and by simply just letting your intentions be known and then just becoming the version of you who already has them the version of you that is at number one think of how much easier it could be if you would just put your attention on yourself know that you are number one in your eyes and allow the universe to pick up on that frequency and yield to you the things that you want because you're top priority, so you would get first dibs. How do you put yourself first? How do you prioritize yourself? How do you choose you? If we're on a plane and it's crashing, I don't want you to put my oxygen mask on first and then your own. I'd prefer you reverse that order. And if you're not a parent yet, you really have no excuse to waffle on that. If we're out at dinner and Everyone thinks you should have the sangria because you look like the sangria type, but you really want the whiskey sour. Get the whiskey sour. This is an actual real experience that happened to me recently. We were out at dinner. Everybody thought I was the sangria type and I really wanted the whiskey sour, but I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And more importantly, there was someone there who I didn't want to feel emasculated. So I got the sangria and you know what? I still want that specific whiskey sour. If there is someone that you're fond of and they would like to see you right now, but you've already made plans with yourself, the salon, gym, work, whatever, don't just cancel your plans to accommodate their schedule. If they are a person who follows this ideology, it is highly likely they wouldn't do the same thing for you. And before we run away with this and try to discredit this idea, with the use of compassion. You could say it's compassionate to accommodate others at the expense of yourself. You could say it is compassionate to put the feelings and the wants of others above your own. But if you're constantly making choices that benefit others solely while shirking your own responsibilities to yourself, there's another word for that and it's called self-sacrifice. There is another option. It's called self-compassion, which is a concept I have been chatting about recently with anyone who is interested in it. When you're religiously 
placing others above yourself by your actions or through your attention to them? What kind of message do you think you are sending out? How could you expect to be the first choice for specific people, people, or otherwise when you're not even your own first choice? If the universe is a mirror, then what do you honestly think you are mirroring? And believe me, I've had to work on this. And every so often, I still find a little bit of this lack of self-worth slipping through my speech and actions. This all comes down to your true self-concept and to your true beliefs about yourself and your deservability. Do you truly believe that you deserve what it is that you are intending, what it is that you are working for and trying so hard or not trying so hard to attain? My friend Pabi and I were recently having a discussion and he said something to me that it really clicked and I just have to share it with you. Poppy says, don't ask the universe for something you're denying from yourself. I love that. Don't ask the universe to send you someone who loves you when you won't love yourself. Don't ask the universe to send you happy experiences when you won't find the happiness and the experiences that you currently have. Don't ask the universe to make this specific person choose you when you won't choose yourself. Don't ask the universe to prioritize you and favor you when you won't favor yourself. It may be difficult for you at first. You may feel impolite. You may feel selfish. When I first started implementing this way of being, I had to take it really slowly and I still do because I was raised so rigidly that choosing to focus on myself for a change and putting myself first felt unholy. That is some pretty dark ass energy to carry around. I felt as though I was a narcissist for choosing myself and not sacrificing myself for anyone kin or otherwise like jesus would do i want to end this video soon but before i do i would love to clarify the essence of self-prioritization it is not an endorsement to stomp all over others disregard consent carelessly mistreat others and their feelings or to look down upon other living beings this is an advocacy of being true to who you are saying no or yes when you really want to making yourself your first priority choosing your own ideas when you know you ought to and giving yourself what you would like to receive from others acceptance priority, compassion, care, and love. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I trust you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. So how did you like today's video and what video would you like to see next? You let me know in the comment section down below. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.